The Last Last Day of Summer, Chapter 41, Maneuver Number 3 The breeze rustled the grass across the fields between the boys and Grandma's house. In the sky, Petey's left port became a smudge over it all, growing smaller and smaller until it vanished in a cloud, leaving Otto and Sheet alone for the first time in what felt like a long while. The longest last day of summer ever. At least Petey would said peace out, Sheed scrunched his face. That time star jerk just has no manners. He did a lot for us today, Otto said. Could you try to go easy on him? Why do you care? You know something was off about him. Was off about him. He had shifty eyes. Otto nearly protested. His eyes were not shifty, but decided to let it go. There were more important matters. Instead, he said, you're still wearing Mr. Flux's suit. Grandma's going to have questions. Unless you distract her and let me sneak in. Maneuver number three? Sure, that could work. Not yet, though. Sheed sat on the hill, a great westward view of the sun sinking over distant trees. The golden light, the best of the day, reminded Otto of something. Digging through his pocket past his notepad, he touched a slim, stiff piece of paper. Pulling it free, he read the newest souvenir, a business card they'd be adding to their bedroom shelves. Golden hour, a.m. Your best look now. Sheed said, what do you think happened to the clock watchers? I guess they went back where they belong. Time's moving in, so they're probably busy, especially now. The sunlight at this hour cast everything in streaking bronze, making it all picture-worthy. Otto wished for a camera, then immediately regretted it. He'd rely on his memory, at least for a while. Staring down the hill at the dancing grass beneath them, there was a flickering shimmer in the air. For just the slightest moment, Otto thought, perhaps he was the ha he saw the hazy, yellow-clad outlines of his friends AM and PM waving at him. The light shifted, however, and there was nothing there. Sadness hit, then hit him again when he turned to Sheed to ask if he'd seen them too. I'm going to save you, Sheed, Otto thought, though not today. Today they'd enjoy summer as it was meant to be, a temporary thing made richer by its inevitable end. Tomorrow, a new adventure, and the next day, the next. Why are you looking at me like that, Sheed said, like Goofy, Otto lied. I was thinking about how many keys to the city we need to shoot for so the Ellisons never catch up. You really have an ego problem. Good thing I'm here to keep you in check. I agree. Let's go see what Grandma's cooking after I sneak you in. Cool. If it's pie, you can have my slice. Really? She reconsidered. Part of my slice. They talked pie and new adventures and the Ellisons all the way home with the love of cousins. Best friends. Really brothers. A legendary bond that wouldn't be broken, no matter what came their way, this season or beyond.